Uh, Mario, what, what are you doing here? You're not, you're not going for a second year in a row, are you? Well, I did, I did audition, but it didn't put me through, so I'm just loitering out. No, I'm just I'm down here checking out all the new talent, seeing who's coming down. I think there's some, going to be some great housemates this year. Been down in the picking pens, get, helping people, just give people tips. So a lot of people are nervous, and you just, I think if they see someone who's done it before and they can speak to them, it gives them that little bit of confidence to think, I can do it. Because it can be quite overwhelming, you know, loads of people here. Um, getting you to do all kinds of activities. Um, and I, I just find it exciting. I, I love watching the human drama, the psychology of it unfolding. It makes me feel like I'm auditioning all over again. And why, why do you think 11 years on, there are people camped out before, you know, to come in, there's hundreds of people here. Why do you think people are so keen to get in that house? I think because it's one of those things where very few people ever get to do it. It's kind of like going into outer space. The very select chosen few get to do it. And so to be in something like Big Brother, I think I think it's a milestone in your life that you can say that you've done it because it would be nothing like you've ever done before. Nothing can prepare you for what it's like to be in the house 24/7. And um, you know, I would say I had it was one of the best experiences of my life. And I think people, you know, want that. They they, they see all the fun that we have. It's a you know, it's a truckload of fun, and people want to be part of that. And people just love being part of things and people watching as well. I think. Does it still affect your day-to-day -day life? Do people still stop you in the street and want to talk to you about it and argue with you about it? Or? Yeah, usually. Like, um, my hometown where I live now, it's a bit calmed down now. They've, kinda, they've come to re they recognise and realise I live there. So, But when I first got out of the house, I was mobbed. You know, I had to like have a chaperone because I couldn't go anywhere without people constantly pouncing on you and jumping all over you. But yeah, people still come up to you and go, that my biggest, they usually say, oh, wow, you're so much taller in real life. And I was like, well, do we all like, look like, like really short on telly or something? Um, they expect you to look like a small mole. Yeah, like a little small mole. And they always ask me, where's the suit? And sadly, I don't know where it is. It's uh, been lost in the mists of Big Brother. But um, and a lot of people sometimes says, you know what, you really look like Mario from Big Brother. I was like, yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> And I'm sure everyone on the Digital Spy forums will, uh, will, will, would hate me if I didn't ask you about the whole thing with you and you and Ben last oh, year. Yeah. What's, I mean, what, how, did, how did that affect you? Because obviously a lot of people were like critical of you and stuff on, on forums and stuff like that. Did, does, did that affect you at all? No, oh uh, yeah, Ben and I have the greatest love story there never was. Um, <laughs> now, I think the thing with Ben and I is just when you go in a house, you develop really intense relationships, whether they be platonic, romantic, of whatever nature and it's it's not when you get out of a house you realize actually it's not as intense as you thought it was and yeah I do get a lot of people criticize it oh my, my friends are my biggest critics they're going around saying you Egypt what were you doing walking around because I was like a, a love love showing little puppy walking around and that's not mean so I wouldn't behave like that in real life but because of the the pressure of the house you you end up doing things like that but I, I didn't mind, like, all my other people that criticise me and other people that um, have bad things to say about me, it honestly just makes me laugh, because, you know, it, at least uh, it must be that interesting that they've gone out of their way to say bad thi say negative things about me. Yeah. So it, it, it like, duck, water off the duck's back for me. And what, what does Channel 5 need to do to Big Brother to make it a big hit? Um, I think they need to... Uh, they need to have more alcohol because I think uh, we need more alcohol because sometimes you need the alcohol to get going. I think the most alcohol we ever had one night was when there was 13 of, 13 of us in the house and we were given 10, 10 cans of Carlsberg. It's like, so we each got 75% of the can. So I think more alcohol and I think um, more less showbiz people, less people that are already associated with the media, literally 12, 12 14, 16, however how many housemates, like, literally... Uh, people that have got no showbiz connections and whatsoever, literally just people off the street that just want to have a party, basically. And uh, what are you up to at the moment, for people who, who don't know, what, what are you up to? Are you, are you back to normal life? Or? Yeah, yeah, back to normal, selling burgers from the van at 2am, but I'm dressed as a tranny so no one recognises me. <laughs> now, um, what, I'm, what I'm doing with myself now is, um, I, before I went into the house, I was an aspiring fashion designer. Um, and so I'm putting together my debut collection this summer, which hopefully, if it gets finished in time, will be debuted at London Fashion Week in September. But I'm pushed against the clock at the minute because there's a lot of work still to do. So hopefully you'll see that from me. Okay, cool. And a very nice jacket. I think, yeah, no, I've already been up, you know, I, I thought I'd wear this down here, look really cool. I've already been upstage. Like, the, <laughs> some of the characters that have come down, are, like, their outfits are like, wow, I feel underdressed now. So, yeah. like, but, you know, I, th I thought I'd, you know, everywhere I go, I try and make a statement. 